nice to be here, nice to be seen. I think I need also some uh, light from above. Uh -huh. Oh, let there be. There be, so I can read this. <laughs> That's all you get. Okay, good, now I can read it, yeah, thanks. Oh, good, I, you know, I wanted to thank everyone, uh, first of all, it's really great to be here, nice to see all of the talented people, that's something I really have missed. You know, it's been many years and um, it's great to be back, great to uh, see all of you. And uh, thank you Lloyd, also, for being a great MC. Good. You can see me. You can hear me. Yes. Okay. Well, they said they're gonna. It's always you should save the uh, pest for last. <laughs> and uh, here we go. <laughs> Is the uh, new age still new? It was new in the 1980s. Uh, at the same time, there was still the Soviet Union. It's gone. And uh, back then, I must say, in the 1980s, uh, I was in pretty good shape back then. Um, both things have passed. <laughs> I don't feel so new anymore. So how, how old is the new age? And when does it become the middle age? <laughs> my middle is feeling my age. So much for that. I think this age is old enough by now, so let's call it older. I wonder if we can rally around that slogan. Welcome to the old age. <laughs> anyway, when the uh, new age was relatively new, I did some journaling and some talking to my inner child, and some tantrum work. <laughs> I pulled out one of my journals uh, to reminisce, and uh, here is the passage. I had a spontaneous out-of-body experience during my gestalt process, striving to maintain my Buddhist equilibrium. I did some deep breathing to ground myself and miraculously attuned to my spirit guides. There they were, Odin, Apollo, Fred. So there I was, following my bliss, aligning with Nirvana, praying for a little Shakti pot to expand my third eye. Then the phone rang. I sensed some negative vibrations. So before I answered it, I threw the I Ching and quickly checked my numerology chart and nearly had a primal. But my energy was too blocked. So I did some bioenergetics and self-parenting, took some flower essences and an ate an organic oat brand ginseng muffin. But my inner child wasn't feeling nurtured yet. So I had a rice dream frozen pie, too. Uh, but that made me hyper. So I reversed course and did a relaxation response while listening to my subliminal tapes. Next thing I know, I was feeling depersonalized. Did I need a soul retrieval? Just in case that wasn't enough, I threw in some polarity work, foot reflexology, and a past life regression. Hmm, I was a bit confused. Did I stumble across some eternal archetypes, or was I really Merlin in that past life? I contemplated that alternative reality as I rebirthed myself while listening to a shamanic drumming tape in my hot tub. 
the water started bubbling miraculously, for I didn't have a jacuzzi. I wondered if this was a sign from some magical water sprite. Then I wondered if I ate too many beans yesterday. Nevertheless, I felt energized enough to get my act together. So I pulled myself up by my root chakra, but felt the beginning of an auric hernia. Was this phone thing taking me off my path? In need of centering, I called Moonbeam, my California body worker and active listening coach, to make an appointment for a Shiatsu Reiki Rolfing Reldenkreis Swedish Deep Tissue Massage. <laughs> but she was on Maui, attending a Lomi Lomi Hot Rock Luau. Darn. I was on my own. I was the captain of my own destiny. I would use my personal power to energize my crystals and do some positive imagery about my assertiveness and self-esteem issues. My aura must have been weakened, however, because all of my visualization, visualization techniques and affirmations made my space feel invaded. So to get my energetically attuned, I decided to get a psychic reading from Mother Heart Love around my poverty consciousness. Since I couldn't afford her, I did the next best thing. I could feel my own radiance with the help of my tachyon magnet devices and have some energy for my psychocalisthenics and inversion swing before my harmonic brainwave synergy session scheduled for later that day. I'm sure all of this would have made me more focused for my actualization seminar, holistic healing class, and dolphin dream workshop. <laughs> Furthermore, I'd be more clear for my behavioral, cognitive, transpersonal, Reiki, and Jungian Jerusalem session at the Yoni Lingam Hot Springs Eco Resort and Vibratory Medicine Retreat Center this weekend. I was looking forward to that. The brochure proclaimed that I would bust through three layers of karma. Furthermore, my inner child would get a good spanking. I'm sure my weekly interdimensional trans-channeling group had prepared me for that, thank the goddess. The buzzing in my ears was starting to fade. Things were starting to turn around. Perhaps the archangels had heard my prayers at that seance. Good thing I had fasted until noon to recharge my chakras. I did some calculations. Just as transiting moon trying Uranus, I dabbed some tiger balm onto my third eye, and soon I sensed my intuition was high and my biorhythm cycle was focused. Then I turned on my ion generator to open up for my neuro linguistic programming sessions. Luckily, I had my pyramid recharged right next to my crystal collection, for I would need all of the Pleiadian light energy I could manifest before my guided synchronicity meditation. Let me tell you, when that 5,000-year-old Tibetan Buddhist technique was added with some cranial sacral therapy, I was jazzed for a last week's fire walk. <laughs> it was time to chant my personal mantra. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was charged thousands for that mantra, but it has proved its worth. 
Yes, this hot sweat meditation was taking off, but I still wasn't convinced that speedos were necessary. But <laughs> the group think was persuasive. I was definitely feeling my kundalini rising. I was probably levitating, TM style, but I didn't want to open my eyes to check. I mean, where was my faith? I hadn't felt disempowered since my pagan nudist yoga class on Mount Shasta. <laughs> Thank goodness for my holotropic breathwork and inner child parenting sessions, which prepared me for the deep psychological revelations predicted in my tarot card reading. I started to have a flashback to a particularly potent mushroom experience inside a sensory deprivation tank. I got a deep knowing about water retention that day. <laughs> anyway, I quickly focused upon my Vipassana meditation techniques and neo Taoist cowbells imported from Switzerland <laughs> to bring me back to alignment with my soul's purpose. Believe it or not, there was still a void. I got it. What I truly needed was a meaningful relationship to mirror myself and to practice tantra with, of course. So I went to my personal shaman who told me that all I needed was to love myself. But after a few hours, I got tired and bored and sore. <laughs> My quest for a soulmate began to create a spiritual emergency. So I went to my Indian guru, just returned from a Bollywood convention, who hit me with his Shakti paw feather. Boy, did my third eye feel that. Wait, did this imbalance my ethereal yin yang? This was more like a cosmic fly swatter and soon led to a dark night of the soul. What to do now? I checked social media, looking for a medium. Once I paused the pop-up blocker, I was able to sign up for the intensive whole life rebirth cosmic expo symposium to find someone who really knew what was going on. But the new age music was too loud and my aura got stressed. <laughs> There's only one thing to do. It was time for virtual reality. I locked myself into a calcium-coated organ box, <laughs> strapped on a hemi-sync earphone, and drifted into some subterranean power place reminiscent of non-linear reality. Or did I go to sleep? <laughs> In any case, I'm sure I would get answers about my cosmic twin soul in the dream state. As usual, my power animal was there to guide me. I understand that chipmunk energy is very special. <laughs> <laughs> Along with my Indian, I mean Native American guide, I knew I was getting close. But when I woke up, I discovered I was Still dreaming. Oh well, maybe next lifetime. 